What's going on guys, this is Angus and a huge welcome back to the channel. Super stoked that you're here, thanks so much for clicking and um, you're in for a treat today. Um, today's gonna be a mixture of basically having some sick footage of me eating. I'm gonna be showing you one of my favorite meals um, that I've been eating pretty consistently um, while cutting in terms of for lunchtime. I'm gonna be going over how I've been going in terms of my prep. I'm currently seven weeks out from competition, which is really exciting. Um, been dieting down nicely, losing weight every single week, so I'm going to be dropping some insight there. So um, you're going to be seeing some, uh, yeah, some footage of me eating this big ass salad that you would have seen a bit of footage of before in terms of the preview trailer. Going to be um, eating this, um, which is going to be glorious. This comes in, uh, I think it's about 1.5 kgs. My salads are typically pretty big. Um, and then yeah, so we're gonna be having some sick eating footage and um, over the course of this, you'll also be seeing some footage of some of my lifting. You'll be seeing some footage of some of my, um, yeah, posing um, and uh, some voiceover while this all happens because voiceovers are sick as well as some uh, time-lapse action, some tunes and all in all, it's just gonna be a uh, pretty sick video. So would highly encourage that uh, if you're a returning subscriber and you get some value from this video, um, make sure to give it a like, make sure to comment, I'd really appreciate it, it'd be awesome because that means that YouTube gods will, uh, yeah, get my videos um, seen by more people. And then, hey, if you're new to the channel, um, two reasons why I'd subscribe if I was you is number one, you get to see some, uh, yeah, some of me up in your mobile face dial. <laughs> and uh, reason number two, is that um, it's just gonna be every single va video, a mixture of value and content while being entertaining at the same time as well. So um, strap yourselves in, get ready for some sick music from uh, No Copyright Sounds. I'm gonna start eating and um, yeah, let the voiceovers and time lapse begin. In three, two, one, and... Oh. Voice over Angus mode engaged. So once again, massive thanks for stopping by to check out this video legend. Most appreciated and hope you're enjoying the video so far. So um, yeah, as I said, with it being summer slash autumn or whatever, and with me cutting, I just absolutely love big voluminous salads because they're so easy to be able to keep creative. They're very filling and you still stay light while you're eating them and they're just absolutely awesome. Just obviously be aware of uh, hairs floating about because sometimes you'll catch them landing in your salads. <laughs> <laughs> so let's throw that out. But anyway, let's kick off with some footage of training. So I haven't been recording much of my training these days at the moment because I'm just focused on trying to get the workouts done due to fatigue and obviously longer that you're in a calorie deficit, it becomes harder to maintain pushing and moving the same way that you usually do. So um, yeah, just fighting the power and here we have a bit of footage of me doing front squats recently. So was doing some power work as well as some strength work. I managed to pyramid my way up to 115 kgs for two reps. I believe this is me here doing 110 for working sets of three. And um, yeah, still able to hit depth, still able to flow effectively. Um, finally starting to see my um, you know quad separation and veins in my legs come into play, which is sick. Um, because for me, I tend to find that it's my legs that come in last in terms of where I lose fat from. At the moment, I'm about seven-ish weeks away out from uh, competition at the ICM West Coast Super Show, so it should be sick. Uh, my plan is to compete in uh, fitness this time around, so that should be cool. First time competing there, given that I'm used to bodybuilding-based competitions and divisions, so it should be pretty sick. But um, yeah, so really enjoying training, something that uh, I look forward to every day, even though it's hard as fuck. Um, and uh, it's always a challenge, but hey, as I'm sure you can relate, you always feel good afterwards. So I've been focusing on hitting um, basically all muscle groups, at least two with you know up to three times per week, depending on what I'm training. 
Um, and yeah, basically just hitting various rep schemes, trying to aim for a decent amount of volume, um, tracking lifts and stuff like that, as well as using my Fitbit, which I find pumps out some pretty sick data, so that's cool. Um, some parts that I basically dread training are traps, arms, calves and forearms um, just because they're just boring but hey to get the job done nonetheless um, this footage here was me at my recent trip in Queensland where I was at World Gym in Upper Kimura it was absolutely fantastic to train there trying out some cool machines that I've never used before like this one which is where you can do front and lateral raises um, and yeah really hit your traps and your um, medial delts and front delts and stuff really really well so um yeah absolutely love that gym if you're around that area in queensland 10 out of 10 for sure recommend that you go check it out it's probably one of the best gyms that i've trained at um now some random tips about salad if you're looking to um, bulk it up for not many calories some good additions to salad are things like tomatoes cucumber uh, and mushrooms um, and carrots they make for awesome additions to salads some that I typically put in most of mine and then I switch it up in terms of sweet and savory sauces based on yeah what I'm feeling keen for now um, in terms of how my rig is looking fairly happy with how I'm dialing in seeing more and more vascularity and definition and stuff coming in across well my whole body and it's awesome something that I'm really aiming to focus on over the course of the weeks up to this competition is um, yeah just getting more in flow with posing because I find that posing for this division is a lot different to what I'm used to and I'm um, trying to just get the mind muscle connection down pat uh, in terms of yeah, the various areas. Obviously, when it comes to this division, what they're looking for is, uh, you know, the V taper, having nice wide lats and shoulders, and then nice small waist, and the ability to be able to flow with posing. So that's something I'm focusing on a lot, and something that I'm going to be focusing on. Yeah, obviously, a lot to lead up to this competition. Um, fingers crossed with uh, a few layers of tan uh, across my body and um, under some decent lighting, I'll come in looking half good. So um, fingers crossed for that. Um, obviously, like, you know, when it comes to this sport, your training and eating to be able to look a certain way and you're getting judged on your aesthetics. So it's just, uh, it's an exciting scenario, but then in terms of my goals, once this competition is done, based on how I go, um, you know, we'll sort of, I guess, determine where I take my training and my eating moving forward. Um, obviously, if you've been following me on social media, you would have probably seen that um, I had an awesome time at the Spartan race over in Melbourne and it's got me thinking whether I want to yeah start really training and eating to start focusing on performance as opposed to basically pretty much just aesthetics and staying strong so we'll see what the future holds um, obviously future videos will get some more insight when it comes to that sort of stuff moving forward um, you know I guess a piece of bay that I can give you when it comes to um, slaying the game to yourself is to always keep your bigger picture goals um, you know at play and in focus so that way when it comes to the micro day-to-day -day stuff you are just focused on what needs to be done in the day it's going to be helping you to move forward to the bigger goals uh, in terms of monthly and quarterly and stuff like that so um yeah really hope you've enjoyed this bit of insight so far in terms of angus voiceover let's keep eating this salad and um yeah stay tuned and um keep trucking fat loss is a hard game so as much variety and food enjoyment that you have up your sleeve the easier dare i say it that it becomes irrespective of whether you're competing or not And boom, there we go. 
what a solid feed. Like something like that fills me up, makes me feel good. I don't feel bloated or heavy or anything like that. And um, yeah, really, really good. This is something that, especially through summer as well, while cutting, I've been just, just been loving having big ass random salads. And obviously they're really versatile. So like I usually have one of those packet salad mixes as kind of like the base. And then I like to vary up, I guess, the sweet and savory components in terms of what else gets added to it and then vary up the dressing. So that way, you know, variety I find is just the biggest thing when it comes to cutting and um, sticking to a fat loss plan is like you want to be having as much variety and control up your sleeve as possible and then that way it's just a means of hitting food targets as you go along and Bob's your uncle, you're in a calorie deficit and the shreds are with you. So I um, really hope you enjoyed this video, hopefully you got some value from not only just seeing me eat but um, you know the, the voiceover knowledge bombs and stuff that you would have heard from before, really hope you enjoyed them. So um, hey, if you're a returning subscriber and you like this video, um, give it a like, let us know how you're getting on your own journey and uh, what value you took from this video in the comments below. And please, if you're new to the channel and you like this video and you wanna see more of my lovely face pop up in your mobile, make sure to press subscribe. It'd be awesome to be sharing in your journey and um, having you as part of the community. And um, please, if you want to see more, um, yeah, just good shit, check out my social links below. You can add me on Instagram or Facebook, and um, yeah, we can uh, we can connect some more there. Either way, I'll see you next time in the YouTube world. Have an awesome rest of your day.